Hey guys, I'm Oliver with Motionary, and today you're going to learn how to color grade in Final Cut Pro, along with an overview of the tools inside Final Cut Pro to help you with your color grade. In the fairly recent 10.4 update, Final Cut Pro dramatically enhanced its color correction and color grading features, most significantly with the addition of color wheels, color curves, and hue saturation curves, which each give you the ability to alter color differently. While the topic of color grading could span a vast array of videos on how to get different looks on different clips, we just want to give you the tools so you can confidently color grade your own clips. At this point, it's important to understand the difference between color correction and color grading. Color correction is about ensuring the colors within an image or clip appear as the human eye would see them, essentially making sure they appear as natural as possible. Color grading, however, comes with more creative freedom to add atmosphere and emotion to your clip. With the 10.4 update, this process became much more manageable all inside Final Cut Pro. Now it's commonplace to correct your clip before color grading, so if you'd like more information on color correcting, feel free to check out our tutorial on the Motion Array channel for this. So let's get started with the first clip on our timeline that's already been through color correction. And as we mentioned, the color grading process allows for more creative freedom. So while you can open up your video scopes by going to View, Show in Viewer, Video Scopes, or by hitting keyboard shortcut Command 7. We mentioned the four color grading tools Final Cut Pro recently added, so let's go through them individually. Starting with the color boards, which are divided into three sections, color, saturation, and exposure, each allows you to make adjustments to shadows, midtones, and highlights, in addition to master level adjustments to areas all at once. Color wheels are a more advanced and compact view of the color board and dedicate a wheel to each shadows, midtones, and highlights, as well as a master wheel too. Below the wheels, you can adjust temperature to make your clip look warmer or cooler, and tint to address green and magenta that work in conjunction with the temperature. And then below that, you have hue to adjust the color value of your whole clip. You then have color curves, which are arguably the most powerful as you can fine tune the areas and colors of a clip by adding multiple control points. You can also use the eyedropper to select a specific color range of your clip, or select a color from the predefined range for greater adjustments. If you find your grade is too harsh for some clips, you can also use the mix slider to decrease or increase the impact your grade has on the clip. Finally, the hue saturation curves come with six controls, giving you the ability to adjust the hue, saturation, and brightness of any color in your clip, in addition to giving you control over saturation at different brightness levels. All of those tools are awesome, but you also may have a LUT you want to apply to your clip for a quick and simple color grade. A LUT, or lookup table, is a file that when applied to your footage, remaps the color palette of that footage. You can add a LUT by adding the custom LUT effect from your effects browser, which you can also access with the keyboard shortcut Command 5. So now that you've learned the different tools available in Final Cut Pro for color grading manually, or even for adding a custom LUT, here are a few additional tips. If you're grading a clip with a person, be careful with the skin tones as they can easily be disrupted and can be particularly evident to the viewer. One technique you can use to protect them is to use the color mask, which works by selecting a specific color range and allowing you to make adjustments to that range while also isolating them from any other adjustments. Once the skin tones have been isolated, you can use the vector scope, which has a line to indicate skin tones. And with the skin tone colors isolated, you can either check or correct the skin tones, knowing that's exactly what you're correcting. If we choose to color grade this clip while not using a color mask, notice how adjusting the shadows of the red color curve make the skin appear green. So color grading can be particularly time consuming. And if you have multiple clips shot in the same setting, you may want to copy a color grade across those shots. To copy a color grade, select your shot and hit Command C. This will copy the clip and then move to your next clip and hit Command Shift V to paste the color attributes you want to copy over. And there you have it. You've just learned how to color grade in Final Cut Pro. So guys, that's it from me. And I hope you enjoyed this video on color grading in Final Cut Pro helpful. And if you want to make Final Cut Pro even better, over here at Motionary, we've got a whole bunch of awesome Final Cut Pro templates, transitions, effects, stock footage, and more. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.